I'm gonna use this installation manual so first before we do all that we need to actually download this first right let's go back to mailman I'm gonna go back here and let's choose download okay let's choose the GNU one okay we are inside here now I'm going to install and choose the the latest version okay this is not sorted properly mailman let's see from the year let's choose this one okay I'm gonna copy this one right click save link as oops sorry I'm gonna just copy the URL copy link location so this is the April 21st 2008 version so it's the latest one uh, version 2110 okay I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna go back to my party I'm gonna I'm gonna get that with W get okay So it's downloading that file. Okay. So we get the mailman 2.1.10.tgz. So here's the mailman. We have to unzip it using G unzip. Just follow my lead here. Mailman. Tap the whole thing. You can use tab, the tab key to auto complete what you are typing so we're gonna uncompress with tar t a r mailman so it's uncompressing now we're gonna go to inside the directory okay so inside here we are already inside so we're gonna we're gonna um, install it okay so so let's go back here and uh, back to our virtual main site so it's it said that mailman program for mailman bin mailman so we need this um, installation folder okay we need to have installed it here so let's go back to here and search for install mailman again now I'm going to the installation index now run configure so we need to add this pre prefix to install it here okay so go back to here what I'm going to do is do this configure with prefix right there because we want to install it there okay I'm gonna hit enter now and it's gonna do the installation process again we have some errors let's okay now it says that it's required Python to be installed on this server okay to overcome that uh, mailman mailing list issue we're going to disable mailman for now so we can go ahead and start hosting our website and um, try to troubleshoot the, well, uh, the uh, mailman mailing list issue later because we're not going to use uh, much mailing list anyways so to disable mailman so you can start using virtual mean goes to system settings features and plugins here 
here you can see all the plugins just make sure you uncheck mailman it was checked before just uncheck it and uncheck this as well and save it so once you saved um, the configuration you can recheck config again and it, everything should look good takes a while to save everything okay it's saved now let's recheck config you should see everything is um, configured properly now and you can start using virtual mint to host uh, your websites and which we are going to do right now so as you can see your system is ready to for use by virtual mint so that's that now let's start hosting some websites to do that go to um, system settings let's check everything out let's create some accounts I think by the ad servers here nope mm. okay here on the top you see create virtual server so let's do that and we're going to host our first domain name so um, let's use um, the example domain I've been using so far joy right click and set the password for that this just use default everything default and advanced option let's see what we have here just use automatic for everything enable features um, yeah that looks good IP address and forwarding no we don't need to set this and click create server as you can see it is creating the whole thing now and it's done now let's see um, once we have created this we can start uploading our files and um, publish our website here and that's it okay so we're going to host uh, this domain joy right click into this VPS and manage it with virtual min so the first thing I'm gonna do, I have to do is to get um, the IP address of my VPS, which you should have in your welcome email, in your VPS welcome email. So I've saved it somewhere here. So I have two IP address. Oh, not this one. Um, one second. Okay, so I have the IP address, but not this one. Uh, so you get the IP address from your VPS pro provider. Okay. We're going to use two IP addresses to register our um, name servers. Okay, so for instance, you have um, two IP in your VPS, two available IP address, and uh, we're going to go to um, your domain registrar. Now, for this example, I'm using enom, my domain registrar, and I'm going to register my name server for Joyride Clicks. So I'm going to go domains advanced tools register a name server I'm gonna use um, NS1 or NS3 whatever you want it's up to you joyrightclick.com you can use NS NS20 or something it's up to you okay and I'm gonna use this IP this is the first one 